My name is Steve Stevens, the best sports consultant money can buy. I make more money betting sports than anybody in the world. I'm the one that tells you who to bet. I'm not a bookie, I'm the bookie killer. If money talks, then I got a lot to say. I'm on the grind trying to make $100,000 a day. The game that I pick, believe me, it's a winner. What I know could get you rich, because all I pick is winners. Welcome to Las Vegas. Money talks, money talks. Welcome to Las Vegas. Hold on. Start right here. Welcome back. Today is June 29th, and this is podcast number 364. Um, show is sponsored by Blue Chip. That's what I'm talking Good about, job. baby. Yeah. yeah. I got my number one ace in the hole, Abrielle Lynn Otero. She will be taking over VIP Sports. You would think it would be your son. But here's my superstar protege right I, here. I just heard her on the phone upgrading for you. You know what I mean? So she's in the office today doing some upgrading, doing some TOs, making sure everything goes right. Right, baby? And remember, they need to do this business, don't they? Huh? Your message was pretty good the other day. You got a lot of people to, calling in. need to call, Ops? That's right, baby. I love you. Give me a kiss. Very good, Ops. So good job. Right. Anyway, guys, like she said, welcome back. Today's June 29th, podcast number 364. Show was sponsored by Blue Chew and TMT, the money team. Mm -hmm. What's going on, paparazzi? Well, just dealing with some uh, medical issues. I have a cool little story. I mean, it's not as funny as it would be with you and Skipper, but I was over at the Red Rock Casino uh, over on Saturday for a few minutes. I never, ever really play the table games, but I went to the roulette table just because I had a few minutes to spare. This guy came over, and he was just studying the table for a minute. He had about $1,000 in chips. And he put everything down all around like the number 19 or so. Very interesting. Never seen anybody play just like that. Put a bunch on the 19 and then everything around the 19, all in one hand. They spin the ball, lands on 19. Spin the ball, lands on 19. Kid hits for like $30,000, right? Very nice kid. Tips them. Gives me some money. I didn't ask him to, but he just gave me some money. And I asked him, like, you know, do you do this? Because it seemed like he charted stuff and took it for a living. He said that he was in an industry where they wanted him to get a shot for COVID. He refused, so they fired him. That this was a passion of his, but he had just done it as, you know, just a hobby. He wanted to take this serious and do it as a business. He studied it. He studies trends on the board. He plays this way, and now he does it for a living. He hit for 30000 right in front of me. was amazing to watch. And uh, I told him I was going to tell this story on the podcast. So... Just just a little fun story to tell people and show people that good people can make some money out of it. Absolutely. Well, let me help him out a little bit more. If you think you're doing that every day and you're going to make a living off playing okay. roulette, you're out of your mind. You will be broke in the gutter looking to take that shot for your job back. So congratulations on that money, though. But uh, if you think you're making a career out on playing uh, blackjack, craps, and roulette on a daily basis, good luck to you. Well, brother. the smartest thing would be to call you learn how your betting Let, system and values work. Let's talk about all the people that have called us over the yeah. last 30 days. Yeah, a lot. 89% uh, on personal plays, won 14 out of my last 15, actually 15 out of my last 16 yeah. games, and we're on absolute fire. For you guys out there that are betting 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 or more, come get aboard my personal plays. I'll make you more money than you've ever imagined. Want to give a shout out to my boy David that was in town uh, this weekend. Made him close to $400,000 in five days. Men lie, women lie, results don't. And all you little cappers out there sitting at home in your underwear claiming to do what I do, the day you put up a picture of a real client, the day you have clients coming in your office, and the day that you show results, let me know. Until then, keep doing your fake ass shit and, and, and being a wannabe stunner capper. And I just want to point out one of the biggest misconceptions, again, guys, basketball, hockey, get over, and it's, hey, call me when it's football time. Listen, when he has information and he's winning at a sport like baseball like he is, that's when you want to get in. His whole purpose is to build you a bankroll for football. So when it's baseball and he has the winning percentage like he does, now is the time where you want to call him. Now is the time where you want to learn his betting system and why he wins and get in with him now. I was just going to tell you, don't waste your breath. 
because if people don't know that baseball is the most profitable sport, they shouldn't be sports betting. But then I thought about it for a little bit. There's so many new, Correct. brand new amateur sports bettors that we do need to help. Yeah. So I completely understand what you're saying. But guys, baseball by far is the most profitable sport with the underdog value and the trends and pitcher umpire match it, uh, matchup, what umpires behind the mound. There are certain elements that go into this that just make it very, very easy to make money. And I do want to shout out the Dodgers run line for screwing up <laughs> my uh, 16 in a row, by yeah, the way. Yeah, Clayton Kershaw's known for giving up quite a few <coughs> runs over there at uh, Coors Field. The guys are probably like, can you give us some uh, golden nuggets? Let's get into the show, buddy. Let's do it. You guys want to get a hold of us, 877-220-6540. Want to go to our website, VIPSportsLasVegas.com. Put your phone number into our website. We'll get back with you with a free pick. Don't forget to subscribe to our Telegram channel. Uh, for those that do, you get the opportunity to get a free VIP play and a lot of opportunity uh, for matchups and a lot of free information that you wouldn't get anywhere else. But remember, guys, I'm the Michael Jordan of this business. This podcast is a spinoff of my show, Money Talks on CNBC. If you guys have not seen it, go to YouTube and Google CNBC, uh, YouTube Money Talks. You can watch all 11 episodes. And in the next four to five months, what do you think will be on air? Four, five months for Million Dollar Weekend? Right around football. It's going to be right now. It's going to be towards the Super Bowl, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, I would say towards the very end of the year. Yeah, we're not even nowhere It'll near be, done yeah. filming. So anyway, catch up on Money Talks. I'm the best sports consultant money can buy. Featured on CNBC, the Business Financial Network. Uh, don't be fooled or bamboozled by all these wannabes out there with their fake followers, fake likes, fake comments and pictures of them at the nightclub and shit. None of that has anything to do with betting sports. Last thing you want to do is take advice or sports betting tips from an ex-garbage man. Correct. Or a guy living with his parents, or a guy that carries a purse that lives with his parents who claims that he came out of retirement when he was actually shut down for fraud yeah. and just got his account put back up. But at the end of the day, when he was on Facebook and TikTok, and couldn't buy his fake stuff. What did he average, Ethan? 15 likes, eight likes, something like that, three comments. So it just goes to prove, guys, these people on Instagram are bamboozling you with this fake facade yeah. of fake followers, all these pictures, all this shit. Doesn't mean they know anything about sports. I'm on CNBC, about to be on Netflix or Fox. What channel are they on? No channel. That, that set, that's what I'm saying, guys. I'm the Michael Jordan of the business. I'm on a whole nother level than these little wannabes. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at VIP Sports LV. If you don't want to call, direct message me is about the best way of going about doing business. We will not spam you about contests, promotions. So if you get contacted by a picture of me or my baby girl or my son or my family, make sure you see the blue verified check. That way you know what's us for your own safety. Subscribe to the podcast on YouTube or we ever listen to podcasts. Click on the bell uh, and also choose to receive notifications on all the videos we post. We greatly appreciate their thumbs up, and we do read all of your comments. If you want to get in the game and set yourself up with Steve's absolute blowout winner merchandise, T-shirts, hoodies, and more for the recreational or professional sports better who wants to be a winner both inside and outside of the sports book, and if you visit AbsoluteBlowoutWinner.com today, we are still offering a free face mask with any purchase of $20 or more. You've got winners, you've got losers. Hey, Abriel, which one are you? Good job. Anyway, guys, comments recap. Jonathan said, amazing show. Love starting my morning with a little motivation. Well, buddy, that's what it's all about. Uh, BS Exposer said, great commentary about the state of affairs paired with great information regarding sports. Best bookie killer podcast I have watched. I appreciate it, buddy. D Best, our old school homeboy. Best time to get on VIP sports winning team. That's how we fight inflation here in the sports betting business. Smart man. Lying. Correct. Tom Folan said, Steve, you are the only sports person that gives a shout out to us veterans. We thank you. And speaking of that, I do want to give a shout out to the troops. We got July 4th coming up. Uh, they do a hell of a lot for us to make it so we can go celebrate with our families. We still have a ton of those red, white, and blue absolute blowout winter shirts over there. Yes, we do. Okay, I tell you what I'm going to do. To every veteran that DMs me, for 4th of July, I'm going to give you an absolute blowout winner 4th of July shirt because yeah. you guys deserve it. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart. Uh, our boy, Mr. Steak, do we say his name? Nah, we can't be putting our clients on blast like that. You know who you are. Lift weights, eat steaks. We love you, brother. Ever since he signed up, 
37 and six. Man, I- 37 and six. I took a guy that was making twelve, fifteen hundred dollars a week working construction, a veteran, uh, retired to make it about five to six thousand dollars a week. And let me guess, he actually listens to you. He he took your advice on well, he only how- bets what I tell him. He follows my system. Thank you. If that's, we do it, that's my well, point. If we do it there, if we do it your guys's way, we get your results. We right. do it my way. You're on top of the mountain we, looking we down. We can't just call, get Steve's one play that he's going to use, then go play two other games because we want to sit back, have beers, and watch and chicken wings and watch the game. That's the part we can't do. Or if we do that, we've got to bet twenty bucks on those kind of games and a thousand dollars on your game. Well, it's, that's it's, the way we have to do it. I mean, you want to be a degenerate or you want to treat it like a business? Like Poppy said, do you want to go there, bet five hundred dollars, get free hot dogs and beers, or do you want to bet three thousand, win? and take your girl or maybe some of your homeboys out to a five-star restaurant it, it, and ball out of control. Pay, or pay your mortgage. Make yeah, it so exactly. your kids' bills are paid. That's, exactly. That's more. The thing that blows my mind is when I see a guy in the sports book that has three $500 tickets and he has a pair of $14 shoes on that look like they got 550,000 miles on the motherfucker. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take care of yourself, guys. Treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. If you're walking in 115 degree sun uh, to the sports book to make your bets for the day, Rather than stack your money, do it the right way, and buy you a car and yeah. live, something's wrong with you, man. Get your game straight. And like I said, as far as motivation, guys, you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. Like I said, no matter what's going on in the world, you just have to grind. Don't take no for an answer. Don't let anybody haters get in your way. Don't have any negativity around you, and you will be successful and accomplish your goals. Since we were gone, by the way, the Colorado Avalanche won the Stanley Cup Colorado is the odds on favorites to repeat next year at pl- plus 450, which plus 450, those, that fucking team kicked ass this year. They didn't just slide by into the Stanley Cup. Five, five years they ago, smashed everybody. Five years ago, they were the worst team in hockey and uh, just shows. I just guess shows we better you. give a shout out yeah. to that program getting turned around yeah, over I, there. I, huh? I mean, I told you guys Colorado would win it. They've, they've just, it's a great organization. It's something like the Knights could have built, but... You, we, we, we've gone backwards. You think it had anything to do with five years ago, marijuana becoming completely legal in Colorado? Maybe the players, everybody's a little bit more laid back now? De- it definitely could be. That's for sure. <laughs> the Maple Leafs are plus 850. Now, now, let me stop you right there, okay? Let me show you guys what a joke on future odds. This, this, Colorado won the championship a couple days ago. Toronto has not won a playoff series in over 20 years. Well, that's why they're plus 850. But Yet they got you be, at plus 850. That still should be plus 2,500. Correct. You know what I mean? What, I mean, what a joke to you guys. They have not won a playoff series in over 20 years. Hold on. Before yeah. you move on and, think, and talk about disrespect, they just won the goddamn championship, yeah. and they're already putting odds as if they're going to lose plus 450. Right. So when some of these odds, guys, like he tells you he's not a guy who plays futures and stuff. Occasionally, there's a chance where maybe you could make a little money, but these odds are insane, so don't fall into these However, traps. However, if you do want to make some money, how yes. could you not like the next odds? Yeah, the Lightning plus $9. They've made it to the Stanley Cup three, four years in a row. Yeah, plus $9. Uh, one, there you I mean, go. Come on, man. And the Golden Knights of Las Vegas are plus 1,400. They Let's get right that. into sports news, Poppy. Let's talk about bad timing. When Russia was invading Ukraine, NBA star Brittany Griner was arrested for accusations that he was trying to bring vape cartridges with hash oil. Uh, what do you mean, he? It's she. a girl. It's yes. she. She's held in Russia since February 17th. I want to brush in on this a little bit. I feel bad for this woman. Yeah. All she did was bring a little vape in. If she little... did. If she did. Yeah, well, we're saying she didn't, okay? But yeah. even if she did with a little hash oil in it, they're, they've detained her. They've put her in very, very horrible living circumstances out there. They're treating her very bad. And uh, I, I'm going to say one more thing. If Donald Trump was the president, do you think she would still be detained? Yes oh, or no? Absolutely not. The, the, no, this no, whole be thing real. Not yes happened. or no, would she still be detained? No. Let me ask you another question. Do you think Russia and Ukraine would still be at war if President Trump was uh, it, still in office? It would have never started. Never would have started. They would have never they had got the balls together, to go do that. <laughs> went and got some women. Went to a little strip club, yeah. had some whiskey, and they would have talked it out. Am I lying? No. So shout out to all you people that thought this senile old retarded bastard raising our gas up to 6 and $7 and ruining the interest rates to where no one can buy any houses anymore. In about a year, interest rates are going to be at 7%. People aren't even going to be allowed to, not allowed, they're not even going to be able to purchase the houses, which guess what? Means the prices are going to drop a little bit. And even if they don't drop, no one's going to buy your house. Yeah. You know, California's still moving out to Vegas, but it'll eventually wean off. You know what I mean? But absolutely ridiculous. For you people that voted on Biden, 
Shame on you, and you should kick yourself in your own ass despite your face. Well, it, it, you know, they just had the uh, summit of all the big top nation leaders, and it, it was honestly very embarrassing for the U.S. The Biden, with the other world leaders, the other presidents and, and prime ministers, looked so out of place. He looked like an old man that got taken out of, you know, a retirement home. He looks like a day. senile dog yeah. at 17 years old. Yeah. that shits on the floor. Didn't know he did it. Get can't ready see. to be put down. Yeah, yeah, he's senile as shit. The yeah. guy's blind as a bat, doesn't know how to run a country, and I'm not scared to say it. But the dude is an absolute joke. But we're in a situation to where we can't get him out of office yeah. because the vice president, yeah, that fucking worse. crazy woman, has no clue what she's doing at all, period. So we're stuck, but I hope you guys are smart enough to know to start campaigning right now to get Donald Trump in office when things go bad. I'll be the first one to admit, on social media, he's immature. Mm -hmm. He does talk a lot of shit, which he never should have did as the president, which is fine and dandy. We all do dumb shit. Mm -hmm. But a stone-cold businessman who knows how to run this country, that he is. Yep. And that's what we need to make America great again. Go, going anyway, back real quickly to Brittany Griner. Yeah, because on Monday, Russia extended yep. her sentence to an additional six months as pictures of Griner appeared to show her wearing shackles in the courtroom. Her trial is set to begin Friday. There were also reports that Russia might want to trade her in for a convict's arms trafficker, Victor Bout, also known as the Merchant of Death. And I just want to point out one thing. You don't see us holding uh, Ovechkin or any top Russian athletes that are over here. This isn't a game that we play. This is a game, unfortunately, that they play. She's being detained unfairly. I don't even think she had anything in her bag. I think they planted it, obviously, to do something like this, to use somebody high profile. But we don't take their athletes and hold them to do this kind of shit. You know what? Another thing that blows my mind, because, you know, a lot of celebrities have helped Ukraine tremendously. Yeah. But hold on. These are the same celebrities that are doing commercials saying America doesn't do enough for our homeless. America doesn't do nothing. You ever seen the dog commercial where the dogs are crying? Please adopt and send money to APA uh, I, or whatever. I can't watch it, yeah. No, you got St. Jude's, yep. a place that actually helps children live. Yep. But you want to send millions to Ukraine, but you don't want to do shit here in America. That's what I said last Wake time. up, guys. Yep. You celebrities want to donate and you want to feel bad? Look around to your own country. We need help more than anybody. Mm -hmm. Go to San Francisco and look at all the bums on the street. You want to help somebody? Fix that shit. You don't think those owners of businesses are disgusted <sighs> seeing that outside? I'm sure they're disgusted. I Let's move into Major League Baseball, Poppy. Who's that sponsored by? Well, it's brought to us by Blue Chew, so you'll have a lot more fun uh, thinking of the Blue Chew than up at the situation in San Francisco. So we could all use a stiff freeze, guys. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Always Blue Chew. Guys, confidence can take you far in life. It can also help you in the bedroom, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. Well, that's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night. You can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com today, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part of it, it's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Guys, there's nothing sexier than confidence, and Blue Chew can help you and give you confidence where it counts. So if you can use benefit and extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when using our promotional code VIP at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promotional code VIP, to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and safety information. And we do thank BlueChew for sponsoring our podcast. What's going on in the big NL, Poppy? Well, this weekend, uh, Fourth of July weekend, we've got a big NL West matchup as the San Diego Padres face their biggest rival, the L.A. Dodgers, at Dodger Stadium. The uh, teams will play four times starting on Thursday. The Dodgers have a 12-12 and -12 record this month. Both teams will be without some of their star power, though, this weekend. San Diego is without both Manny Machado and Fernando Tatis. Walker Bueller and Mookie Betts are both out for L.A. The Dodgers are just barely ahead of the Padres right now in the NL West. So, question for you. If and when the Padres get back to being healthy, can this be the year the Padres win the NL West? Nope. I agree with you. Nope. Sorry. 
Um, it's the injuries to both teams have affected them tremendously. What blows me away and what I'm more discouraged about is how the Dodgers are playing. They still have a backup lineup and an all-star team yeah. over there. There's no way they should be 12 and 12 out of 24 games. You understand? So, I mean, it is what it is. Dodgers are a very serious team. Uh, or will it depend on which team makes the bigger and better moves before the trade deadline is what you should ask. I, I mean, the Dodgers have an all-star no team already. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm more disappointed with their performance. Yeah. However, the Padres pick up a couple big boys by the trade deadline. Who knows what can happen? But do I see them a shoe-in for NL uh, West? No. Me either. Hottest MLB batters last seven days. Who, who is it, Poppy? Isaac Paredes for the Tampa Rays. He's got five home runs, four and nine RBIs. Uh, Alejandro Kirk for Toronto has four home runs, nine RBIs. Dansby Swanson for Atlanta, seven runs, four home runs, and six RBIs. And our boy Freddie Freeman over there for the Dodgers, two home runs and 11 RBIs. He won the game the other night for the Dodgers on Sunday Night Baseball against his old team. Hottest pitchers last 30 days, guys. You might want to write this down because this means a lot. Shane McCallahan, McCallahan four wins, 1.4 ERA. My boy Nick Pavetta at Boston, five wins with a two ERA. He's holding it down, huh, yep. Bobby? Corbin Burns, Milwaukee, four wins with a 2.8 ERA. Who else we got? Tony Gonzalez uh, for the L.A. Dodgers, four wins with a 1.0 ERA. Tyler Wells for Baltimore, a very surprising team. This team is playing really good baseball. Five wins with a 1.97 ERA. And Justin Verlander with Houston, three wins with a 2.6 ERA. He's actually pitching today, was pitching great. The game was scoreless in the sixth inning as we're doing the podcast. Looks like when he came back, he was ready to go, huh, brother? He, he sure was. Very surprising to me after that operation, taking the year off and everything, that he's been as good as he's been. I agree because I've said it before. The Kershaw, the Verlanders, all these big boy pitchers that you expect to have a guaranteed winner or an under or a shutout or one or two runs are just not doing it like they used to. No. We need some young superstars out there, huh? We do. A few World Series odds that have changed since opening day. Yankees were plus 1,100, was... now plus 450. I told you guys the Yankees are not to be messed with this yes, year. Yes, you did. Uh, Astros were plus 1,000, now they're plus 600. Mets were plus 1,000, now plus 750. People need to still look out for those Mets? They do. Uh, the Mets have uh, had a little tough schedule the last few days or so, but, uh, yeah, the Mets can definitely win. Padres were plus 1,600. Now plus 1,200, which ring brings us back to our point earlier. We just said, are they a shoe-in to win the West? Yeah. Well, I can't tell. They went from 1,600 to still 1,200. Right. It would be more like 350, 450 if they thought they were going to get that spot. Yeah. Red Sox, who you still need to watch out for, yeah. plus 1,800, now 3,300. Yeah, the Sox had won seven straight. They lost two straight now in Toronto last night. They blew the game in the ninth inning. Uh, but never count the Red Sox out. The Red Sox are, are a team that always somehow gets there. Can beat anybody on any day. Yes. And they can lose to anybody on any day as well. But de definitely a dangerous team. Uh, some injuries that I'm disappointed about. Uh, and I'm sure the big skipper's not too happy the, as the well. Big, the big skipper was there, witnessed uh, Bryce get hit. I know he sent me all uh, his pictures. Yeah. yeah, and right side went and talked to uh, talked to uh, the manager, and uh, yeah. They, yeah, I don't they, know they why know Ethan never posted on. those. I sent him all the pictures. You forget, Skip's part of our family, buddy. Like I said, we'll we'll get some of those pictures up of Skip in the dugout. Skip behind home plate. Skip yeah. talking to the announcers. Yeah. Skip talking to his people. Mr. Baseball is still in full effect. Yes. Phillies, Bryce Harper will undergo surgery Wednesday to stabilize his broken left thumb. The Phillies did not give him a, a timetable for his return, but they said they hope he will return this season. This could be a devastating loss for Philly, who has played great in the month of June, and they are third place in the NL East. You know, and That's why I liked the Atlanta Braves yesterday, plus the dollar ten. Me too. Uh, you know, with Harper gone, uh, and there you have some other injuries, it's a real jolt to that team to lose Harper. 100%. And, and a team like Atlanta, who's really good, they're the champions, they've been on a roll, right, to get plus 30. Well, as you've said, baseball value. Getting a team like that, plus a dollar 30 yesterday, I mean, was a major score for your guys. And not take it. Exactly. I mean, against, come on. Against a team who is now without their star uh yeah that was a great shot for value that's that's what i'm trying to explain to guys why they need to call you atlanta braves closer kenley jansen is on the 15-day injured list with an irregular heartbeat bro leave the blow alone you know what i mean <laughs> he you know he underwent corrective heart surgery his second procedure in november 2018 jansen gave up two runs in the ninth to blow a 2-0 lead and an 11 inning 5-3 loss to the dodgers on sunday night 
uh, his former team. I love it because I hate Kenley Jansen. And I shouldn't have said that about the blow. This guy's been through some bullshit. Yeah, he's still right. grinding. He's still rehabbing. He has a bad heart. He's still out there in the Major League Baseball. Man, I give you a round of applause. All right, Kenley. Even though you beat the retract game, thank that, you. I retract that blow statement. Yankees hung on to beat the last place Oakland A's 2-1 on Tuesday. Here's the trend. Like I said, Oakland has been one of the best teams on the road and on the run line. Oakland is now 26-14 and 14 against the spread on the road, the second best road run line record in baseball. Right, and believe People me. People think the run line is only for the favorites. Right. They don't realize so they don't have to lay the run line plus a plus a dollar and a half. Correct. You know what I mean? They, it's not just for favorites. Right. And they, they look at it and they say, hey, uh, Max Scherzer's pitching today. I don't want to lay 280. Hey, I can lay $1.25 on the run line and get a minus one and a half. They never look at the reverse side of it. Correct. No, 100%. And Correct. I've been teaching people that over the last few months. New York Yankees, 55-20. and 20. New York Yankees reached 50 wins in historic fashion. Only two other teams uh, in history have reached 50 wins faster than the 2022 Yankees. 1939, 64 games, 50 and 14. 1928, 66 games, 50 and 16. The best news for the 2022 Yankees is that both of those Yankee teams won the World Series. <laughs> yeah, and this, this team could definitely do it. Yankees don't win the World Series this year. I'm going to be devastated. Yankees are the triple threat. Right now, the New York leads the league in win-loss record, run differential, plus $1.45, and home runs, 123. Only the Dodgers, plus 128, are even close to them in run differentials. And the Braves, 110 in home runs. Only the 1961 Yankees with Roger Maris and Mickey Mantle accomplished this particular feat in a single season. Mantle hit 54 home runs that year. Roger Maris broke Babe Ruth's record, hitting 61 home runs. That is some historical shit. I would like to go back and watch one of those games. Me too. The, uh, the Houston Astros continue to play well as well. They lead the American League West by 10 games already. The Astros split their highly anticipated series with the Yankees because of Aaron Judge's two-game winning walk-off hits. Houston is still in New York right now, facing the first-place New York Mets, uh, and the Astros pounded the Mets last night 9-1. to uh, They're currently playing again in the sixth inning as we film this, 0-0. Uh, Verlander is on the mound for Houston. Uh, Houston also has a makeup game against the Yankees in Houston on Thursday. Uh, uh, and then the Astros' schedule is the easiest it's been in years. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Uh, yes, they will. The Astros will play the Angels, Royals, and then the A's in their final 16 games before the All-Star break. Wow. Here's some stats. Houston's 39-20 and 20 straight up when listed as the favorite. But Houston's 36-43 and 43 against the spread when listed as a favorite. Once again, you're going against them. You take the run line of the other team plus the run and a half, you're in the money. Right. You know, especially you, when they're at home. Correct. They have a you, terrible record at home. Houston has a lot of one-run games, too. Houston's also 46-24 to the under this season, which is the best under in baseball. Once again, guys, Houston 46-24 and to the under. They're the best team to bet the under in Major League Baseball. You might want to write that and, down. And like I said, right now, sixth inning, 0-0. Exactly. Washington Nationals won as a small dollar thirty favorite on Tuesday against Pittsburgh. Nationals are pretty bad, I'd have to say. I'd say. But they are six and two in their last eight games, and they are eight and two against the spread in their last ten games. Best major league teams versus lefty pitchers. Write this down, guys. Profits on hundred dollar wagers. Padres seventeen and seven plus seven seventy. Or Orioles thirteen and eleven. Plus 685. Hey guys, this is a team who had lost 18 out of 20 at the gate. They're now five or six games below 500. This is a team to look out for. They're really good with value. They're playing great baseball. Stay, stay on the Orioles. Rangers, 14 and 10, plus 625. Red Sox, 12 and 4, plus 550. Giants, 12 and 7, plus 350. Some sports news. Paparazzi's Dang. favorite athlete, Kyrie Irvin, made a list of teams that he would like to be traded to. But the only team that showed any interest was apparently the L.A. Lakers. Oh, that, that'd be a perfect match that, again. That's weird, considering we just said that a few days ago. Uh, huh, Ethan? Yeah, it, it's funny. Uh, Kyrie, of course, has to have a lot more drama in his life. Uh, he's now also kind of fucked over Kevin Durant because Kyrie couldn't get a long-term deal with Brooklyn, which I give Brooklyn a lot of credit for doing that. So now Kyrie wants to be was, traded. I'm doing what everything number seven does. You yeah. know what I mean? 
Now, L.A. wants to talk to him. He's like, holler at you, Kevin. Do yeah, your thing. Yeah, Kyrie's going to go back to LeBron, who they had a hateful relationship for, uh, over there with Russell Westbrook, who just opted in for his fucking option, who they don't want. Hold on, though. I do want to make a point, though. Okay. Kyrie has decided to exercise his player option and return to the Brooklyn Nets yeah. for $36 million next season. The question, if Kyrie invited Poppy out to dinner, would he go? I would definitely go. hundred <laughs> percent. I a hundred percent would go. I, I I always give somebody the the opportunity, even if if I don't like somebody, whatever, to to sway me, to to uh, make make my make make me feel differently about them. I, I I'm always willing to do that. But well, the way he, this guy is, I highly doubt he would change my mind. Do you think the Nets are happy that Kyrie decided to come back for the 2023 season? No, I think they would like to end this chapter. I think. They realize it didn't work. They love Kevin Durant and would like to build around Kevin Durant in a different way. And if they can I, get rid of him and be able to put two other all-stars around Kevin Durant, I think they'd love to do it. I disagree. I think that they are happy that he decided uh, for to do his option because it makes them feel good, makes them feel that they do want to play for the team. However, the team has stated several times they're not going through another year of the bullshit. So what they're probably doing is trying to talk to figure this out. However, Kyrie is never going to change. And I think Brooklyn organization knows that. So they need to let him go. Um, I don't know if Kevin is going to leave or not. I have a feeling if Kyrie does, Kevin will. But if they can convince Kevin to stay, get rid of him and his $33 million option, bring somebody else to play with Kevin, I think Brooklyn will be okay. But Brooklyn, you can't just try to keep buying an all-star team. You see the shit you did with Harden. You see the shit you did with Kyrie. And you see the shit you did with Durant. It just doesn't work. I, I personally think go Kevin, put some fucking good players together and go get the job. I, done. I, I personally would go to Kevin Durant and tell him we want to build around you. We want to make you our franchise player. We want you to retire in a Brooklyn uniform. Work with us here. Let us go for a year. We're not going to be very good. It's going to be a rebuilding year. Kyrie will play you through know, his contract. They'll have all that money to build around Kevin and let Kevin pick a couple players. Ask he me wants if you agree around. with this. What I think would be better for Brooklyn. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you this player is better than Kyrie, yeah. but this is what I think would be better for Brooklyn. Don't you think it'd be good for Brooklyn to let Kyrie go to the Lakers and let Westbrook go ball a little bit for Brooklyn? Uh, yeah, I think Westbrook would be a lot less of a distraction. Uh, He's not as good by any means at all. No, but the whole idea of Brooklyn is to get top-notch players. Yeah. Westbrook's still a top-notch player. Yeah, I, to me, he played like shit last year. Yeah. I don't think he fits in in L.A. No, he doesn't. Uh, the, the new coach there, Darvin Ham, just had a meeting with him a couple of days ago, uh, and, and it was voiced to Russell that we're going to be a defensive team first, and if you can't cope to that, get the fuck out of here. Correct. So they, they just had that meeting with speaking Russell. Speaking of Russell, you know, Russell Westbrook, he's decided to exercise his player option and stay with the Lakers, you think? <laughs> Next season for a whopping $47 million. Yeah, I would have exercised that option too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Anyway... Last season was a down year for Westbrook, who averaged 18 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists. That's, pretty, that's still pretty fucking good. No, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Lakers' new coach and current GM have faith that Westbrook will return to doing big things next season for the Lakers. I'm not 100% sure on that. I think Russell is starting to get some age on him and some miles. And So uh, then you don't agree Westbrook can return to greatness? No. That I, ship has sailed in your book? I think Russell Westbrook is still a very good player. So uh, do I. Is he going to be a great player? No. I think I think the miles have gone on him. Man, he's a point guard you know that plays very, very aggressive. You know one thing that people don't understand? And I love LeBron. He's the second best player in history besides Michael Jordan, in my opinion. But what people don't understand is people have LeBron's back and they shut up so much about everything he does. What they're not realizing is LeBron is a big-ass distraction the last few years yeah. with all his personal businesses that he has yeah. and all the stuff that he talks about and does. So, I mean... I'm ready for LeBron to play two more years, hang it up as one of the best ever, and let these other guys do their thing. Me too. So there you go. NFL, former NFL great Warren Sapp was a guest on VLAD TV, and Sapp said that he heard that Colin Kaepernick's workout with the Raiders was, quote, a disaster and one of the worst workouts ever. It's not what we heard in Las Vegas. No. Kaepernick's agent responded and said that that is not true at all and that he has been talking to other general managers around the NFL about potential workouts. What I think is Raiders let him. I, I think it's a political thing. I, I think the Raiders brought him in on some political shit to give the guy a chance, show other teams that we're working him out. The guy can still play to give him a shot to get back in the league. That, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I don't, and Raiders, I appreciate you guys doing that. 
because Colin is a great guy. Uh, just because uh, BLM is in full effect and, you know, he supports what he believes in, uh, he deserves that. And a lot of the shit that he said, 90% of the things he said was true with this and, world. And, and, you know There's what? no room for racism. War, Warren Sapp, shame on you to come out there. A guy that, that drunk, drank alcohol five tra- days got, a week, got busted, smoked weed every day. Got, got arrested, uh, got arrested a couple times on serious issues. To come out there to go put that in the air, we all know what Colin Kaepernick's been through. We don't need you to come put that out in the air, that it was the worst workout and everything like that. You don't have to come say that. Let the guy go. Let us have some positive thoughts about the guy. If the guy's not going to make a team, that's on his and own Give him efforts. a chance to get back in the Co- game. Correct, but we don't need that out in the aura that this was the worst workout ever and shit like that. The fuck only thing, you, Warren. Exactly. The only th- well, I'm not saying fuck you, Warren. Warren I am. Beat your motherfucking I, ass. I know. I, I, hey, I, hey, when I lived in Tampa, I was a big Warren fan. I just don't appreciate attacking a guy that's gone through an awful lot. With everything lot. that he supported Co- and all the movements Co- that he's Co- done. Correct. And you're a brother. Correct. You should be supporting him. That's my point. Being like I heard the, he should have been like, I heard the workout didn't go too well. It, exactly. But hopefully some other teams he can work out with. Exactly. And get back in the game because he's a great player and I'd like thank to see him in the league. Thank you. The only thing we need to put out in this aura right now is my personal plays are on fire. Owner selections are on fire. Even VIP plays are still hitting 68%, I think you should do percent, a special, which is more than any other cap. A special for 4th of July. Let, 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 let our, our followers, please, guys, take advantage. If you haven't invested once, call him. All right. Do so something here, special. Here's what him. I'm going to do. From now through 4th of July, I'll allow anybody to get one of my personal plays for $999 instead of 2,500 bucks. There you go. You guys betting fucking $2,500, $3,000 a game. You call me every day, spend $1,000 on a personal play. I'll pick you up a solid five units, which is more than you're picking up now. I'm also doing a promotion. I'll give you an entire week of my personal play up till 4th of July for $2,500, normally 7,500. But don't forget, for you guys that are betting 500 to $1,000, owner selections are still on fire. My VIP plays, see, we're so uh, fucking amazed that the fucking personal plays are hitting 89%. Yeah. Owner selections are hitting 75. These are numbers that if my if, if you're not dealing with my company and seeing it for yourself, I'm not yeah. going to lie, it's not believable. No, you don't it's believe It's not believable. It. Nope. But I know what I'm doing. My clients are knowing what I'm doing. So if anybody that doesn't believe it, eat a dick. That's all I can fucking tell you because it's real. Even my VIP plays, like I said, hitting 67, 68%, which is winning twice what you lose, very profitable. But at the end of the day, guys, the only thing hotter than this Vegas weather are my personal plays. For all you guys out there that, you know, want to get paid, I mean, let me ask you a question. If you saw a $100 bill blowing in the wind, would you pick it up or would you let it blow by? I'll answer that for you. You would pick it up. Make sure you pick up these owner selections, pick up these personal plays, Let's go build you a bankroll. Everybody deserves a second income. Everybody deserves the finer things in life, and you're no exception. On behalf of VIP Sports, myself, the paparazzi, want to give out shout out to the crew that has been doing seven figures a month. I love you guys. I appreciate all the hard work. I'm going to keep doing my end. I have been lacking on the sports book reviews. I got to kind of blame it to your surgery. You've been kind of down and out lately. Yeah. Paparazzi is my producer on the sports book reviews. Motivation 101, Rolls Royce cams. We will be bringing a lot more of that because at the end of the day, more content for me brings more clients, yeah. which brings more money for every motherfucking buddy. And remember the, the T-shirts for the troops. I will be giving out the red, white, and blue absolute blowout winner shirt from now through 4th of July for every military veteran, retired, or active person DMs and reaches out. And to all you want to be sports consultants out there that are small as mouse pussy, up your game a little bit, brother. I appreciate you trying to imitate me. And and it's very true. You imitate success, but be your own person. The only way to get money and the only way for you to be believed in this industry is to be real. All that fake ass shit, all that capping shit, no one gives a shit about it. Don't no one give a fuck about your fake chain. Don't no one care about a picture of your car. Don't no one give a fuck about your fake ass pictures in a club. People want to know that you're a credible sports consultant. And a garbage man turned consultant, a wannabe that watches all my videos and thinks he's me, is not a sports consultant. A guy that lives with his parents that claimed he came out of retirement when his shit got shut down for fraud, that's not a real sports consultant. However, a guy that's been featured in Forbes magazine, Playboy, Penthouse, Esquire, USA Today, uh, GQ, 
Uh, CNBC, the Business Financial Network, with 11-hour-long episodes, is the best in the world. And a guy that's about to be featured on Netflix or Fox with the Million Dollar Weekend, that's what you call a credible sports consultant. A guy that's been in the grind every day, same location for 25 years, getting the job done. We love you guys. Stay out of this motherfucking heat. And remember one thing. Don't let the players be the only ones that get paid. We love you. See you next week. It's Steve Stevens. I bust your bookie head open. Split it to the white meat. I ain't joking. Me a dirt bomb in the ghost float. Straight OG like that Kush I be smoking. It's way too potent for rookies to come hit it. A little white girl around, I might sniff it. Popping bub in the club, so twisted. My pops keeps telling me to go get it. So I'm at the sports book, betting big on the Clippers. I'm talking about five figures. I need a few shots of liquor. Might need another zipper if the bomb play me. Fuck around and put a half a meal on Tom Brady. When it comes to betting sports, Steve Steve is a beast. Need a certified winner called VIP Sports. Got too many felonies to ride around with my Glock. So sure to keep it since I got shot in Vegas like pop. Here Let the money talk to you. It must be the money talk to you.